Hi everybody, my name is Milani Hache and I'm an executive director with Epicure. Today I wanted to show you a couple of products that we have returning in the new catalog for summer and as well new products that are brand new in this season. And while I'm making, preparing my supper tonight, I thought I would um, do a little quick video to show you what we'll be eating. Uh, so I already pre-prepped uh, the Big Burger sauce. If you're uh, someone that knows Epicure already, you know uh, that this product has been here for at least a couple of years, I think at least four or five years that I remember, uh, if not more. And this product I love, it just takes a little bit of uh, mayo, ketchup and relish and the mixture together. You mix it all up and it will make you your Big Burger sauce. This is amazing and it only takes a few minutes to, a few minutes to prepare. Um, I use my little um, spoon here, which I love, especially for the bottles that you, uh, mine was almost empty, so you're able to go in the corners and grab all the, the mayo easily. I'll be using the same thing to put my, um, uh, to take applesauce to make a special sauce. I'll be talking to, about that in a few seconds. Um, besides that, the kids will be enjoying burgers and uh, the family as well. Uh, for supper and I wanted to mention that we do have returning for this season I do have it here uh, the uh, tree in one burger press and it, it's called the tree in one because oops, you can make big burgers you can make stuffed burgers so there's a pouch that you can make a hole put cheese and all that in, in the middle and you can make mini sliders I'm, I'm missing one of the pieces I couldn't find it right here Perfect. So this, I love this kitchen utensil. If you don't already have it at home, I love it. I prepare my burgers ahead of time. I freeze them. And then when I'm ready to make supper, I just take them out and I put them on the barbecue. Love them. And I use my little kitchen tongs or my uh, flipper as well to flip my burgers. It's amazing on the barbecue, the kitchen utensils. Um, also the burgers, like I was saying, you can prep them ahead of time. Uh, leave them in the freezer, especially great when you're going out on the at the campground during the weekend. So you can just grab your bag and put that in your freeze uh, uh, ice bag and then bring it to the camper. So super easy, super quick. So that's my little tip for that. Uh, besides the burger spice, the big burger sauce, sorry, we have the burger spice as well. So you can mix that in your hamburger meat when you're preparing your burgers. We also have uh, the Tuscan chicken burger, which is um, which came back. It was there last year. And we also have a brand new one called the West Coast Burger. Maybe some of you were able to taste it when uh, it came out as a taste test a couple of months ago. Uh, we also have amazing rubs for either uh, chicken, fish, or meat. And I'm just gonna talk quickly. We do have a salmon rub that you can use on your, um, on your fish. And we do also have the Montreal steak, which is back and other uh, favorites, which I don't have all done out right now at the moment, but you can imagine which ones came out. So what we're gonna be eating as well for dinner tonight is, um, is steak. And uh, on my steak, I really just love this product here. It's called the Butcher's Block. This one is amazing. It's a salt and I'm gonna tell you what's inside. So usually I just put that on top, put a little bit of oil like I just did, avocado oil, and I'll uh, just flip it over with my tongs and then uh, put seasoning on both sides of the steak, get it ready for the barbecue. Uh, in the bottle, it says we have sea salt spices, black pepper, mustard seeds, garlic, onion, herbs, tomatoes, uh, it's it's really incredible on steak. And tonight, what I'll be prepping uh, also is our brand new barbecue sauce. So we have this product here. And we're going to open it using our kitchen uh, scissors that we have here. Uh, so just super easy. When you take your multi-purpose pot, whatever pot that you have at home, you'll be using a whisk. Uh, then you pour it in, yeah, pour the mix in the pot. Oh my God, it smells good. So we used to have a, bar a barbecue sauce in a little bowl, a bottle, now it comes in a pack. 
I have not tasted it yet, but I can tell you it smells amazing. So it's gonna call for one and a half cup of ketchup. So I'm gonna put that there. I tried to measure here so I have three quarter of a cup and I love my little uh, little prep bowls for that there's measurements on the side and then I'm going to use I'm going to use this one because I was not sure if I had enough in my other bottle so it will make a lot if you do want and that's what I was thinking of doing uh, just to take half of the seasoning and just make half of the barbecue sauce but Whatever we have left, we can just put it in the fridge and it'll be good. Um, the kids will really enjoy it this week. Okay, so one and a half cups of ketchup, one cup of unsweetened applesauce. So that's what we have here. Okay, perfect. So I'm sure I took another. So again, these spoons are amazing to get the leftovers in the corners of the bottle. Okay, just gonna put that there. So one cup of uh, applesauce and one cup of water, then it says. I'm gonna finish, put it on the stove, heat it up. Uh, it says to heat it up for 15 minutes. And once it's all done, once, once my meal is on, all done, I'll take, I'll take pictures and I'll show you how easily uh, I was able to prepare all this within a few minutes, literally. So it'll take longer to cook the burgers <laughs> than it actually took to, to get prepped all this. Um, so besides that, I wish you a great evening and look, looking forward to seeing what you ate for supper as well or dinner, depending on how you call it. Uh, comment below, let us know. Let me know what you had uh, for your last meal when you, when you watch my video and share that with me. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, hearing back from you. So have a great evening. Bye.